Hey guys, this is Oli from Oli's Big Picture and today I want to ride the Robo Taxi. And this Robo Taxi is like a self-driving car here in the Shanghai Automobile City. I want to try it the first time. Okay, here it's coming. So right now we are doing a U-turn on the street, everything by itself. They are mandatory to still have a driver who drives, and uh, not who drives, I mean who is taking care that nothing happens, but apparently it's doing everything by itself. The taxi ride with the robot taxi was quite driving a normal taxi. There's still a guy sitting there for some security reason, but he didn't have to do anything except confirming every 10 minutes that he's still basically on the seat. He had to touch the touchscreen and saying, yes, I'm still working. The car is not driving without me, basically. And what is also quite surprising, I thought it's like a normal taxi but they still have like specific stops where they stop for you and where they let you go off. So it's basically from one, one bus station to another. And what I also just learned, they have like three different brands. I will put you the logos here of these three Chinese car brands who are collaborating in this new app. It works completely like the Diddy app, like the normal ride hailing app you know here from China. I also made a video about this one already you can find down in the description and for this ride right now for like 10 15 minutes ride we paid like how much did we pay 10 8 8 renminbi 8 renminbi what is about 1 dollar and 10 cents so it's even cheaper than diddy right now because they're trying it out it's kind of weird that the car drives by itself so did everything without any issues but it's a little bit boring that there's still a person sitting in front of the taxi ah love chinese noise <laughs> that that you still have like the person sitting in front of there so it doesn't feel that spacey or that crazy as you would might expect so to sum it up it was quite interesting to see how far the technology is already because it drove completely everything by itself in the normal traffic here in the Shanghai Automobile City area of Shanghai. And it was quite interesting. We just drove by the headquarter of Shanghai Saic Volkswagen, what was like one of the first um, car factories here in China. And it's from Germany, from Volkswagen. And we just drove by with one of their competitors in a self-driving car now in 2024. So this is how quick the development here in China can go and we definitely gonna keep an eye on it how it gonna develop and test it out again see you on the next one <laughs>